Alright people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at the Digivolution of Ultimaya Tzolkin. So Ultimaya Tzolkin Digivolved into Ultimitel Bishbalkin, the ultimate legendary god. Holy shit. <laughs> so similar to Ultimaya Tzolkin, uh, Bishbalkin is a dark dragon synchro effect monster. Level 0, even though it's treated as a level 12, like uh, Ultimaya Tzolkin. Uh, zero attack, zero defense. So, three defense. So, this original level is always treated as 12. Cannot be special, cannot be synchro summoned. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by setting two level six or higher monsters you control with the same level to the graveyard. One tuner, one non tuner monster. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. So, Ultimate Zulkin's level five. This is level six. But you're probably going to make it the same exact way that you make Ultimate Zulkin, of course, using Labradite. Uh, we've done it plenty of times on Vitamin Y with Labradite Uvel just being like, uh, you know, summon Labradite, banish Mali, summon a Mali, bam, Ultimate Zulkin. So you can do it the exact same way, you know, same way you bust out Ultimate Zulkin, just how you bust out Bish Balkin. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so tongue tied in this video. I already can't speak well, so this is just gonna be terrible. <laughs> anyway, uh, another way, of course, you can do it is the uh, Herotic way. And that's probably the way that you're going to do it, you know, Harate Tribute, summon uh, a normal dragon from your deck, oh, summon the uh, uh, Labradite, and bam. So, same way, same way. So, what am I getting in exchange for Ultimaya? Because, you know, Ultimaya is pretty good. I mean, summon Ultimaya, set something, and then I get to summon that uh, dragon synchro monster, and that's pretty good. So, can this stack up? This is supposed to be the Digivolution, right? So, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Let's go ahead and get that straight. So, no Mirror Force, no Regeki, uh, you know, no Dark Hole, which is, uh, I believe that uh, Ultimate Tzolkin just can't be targeted by attacks or by card effects unless you control a Synchro Monster. So, unless you summon that Bills to protect you from, uh, you know, completely losing everything because, you know, if you go like, you know, Ultimate Tzolkin set a card and summon Bills and they Dark Hole Regeki you, Ultimate Tzolkin's gone, but Bills stay, so at least you have something. This can't be destroyed by card effects, but it can still be targeted. So, you know, unlike just simply like, oh, well, I'm going to summon Ultimate Tzolkin, and I'm going to set a card and summon Clear Wing. So, ha 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 ha, you know, you try to come after my monsters with my, I have my Clear Wing Super Dragon block me from targeting, so no Castell. Uh, this course can't be cast out of way. Wait, so there you go. But uh, let's read the rest of the text. So, this card gains 1,000 attack for each monster on the field, including itself. So, you summon it, it starts out with 1,000. And you're like, and, you know, this includes both sides of the field, but that's not it. That's not at all. <laughs> wait, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Hi there, Billy Mace here with Ultimate Pitch Ball. All right, now stop. <laughs> uh, once per turn during either player's main phase, you can special summon as many. Oh, God. <laughs> Each. Uh, me? Me? Oh, my God. What is this? Hello? What is this? What is this? This is. This is Oot. Chance e Mimi tokens. Yeah, whatever that the hell is. Why couldn't they just call them Bish Balkin tokens? Oh my god. Uh, the tokens are Fiend type, Dark, Level 1, Zero Attack, Zero Defense. Alright, so they're just tokens, right? As possible to anywhere on the field in defense position, but you cannot special but you must special summon an equal number of tokens on each side of the field, and also you cannot attack uh, for the rest of this turn. So what does that mean? You summon a whole bunch of tokens to both sides of the field. This guy shoots up in a whole bunch of attack. You can attack turn some uh, the turn that you summon this. So you go ahead and do it on your opponent's turn, and you attack him. So what I wanted to actually discuss about this is it seems like you're gonna have to devote a lot more of the deck to pull off a Bish Balkan deck than simply just slashing an Ultimaya. You know, you're already playing a heroic deck. You slap in a Labradite. You know, slap in a couple Synchro Monsters along with Ultimate Tzolkin, and there you go. You know, it's simple. But this, I mean, to get the real goodness out of this card, it seems like you're going to have to commit a lot more of your deck to these plays. Because, I mean, he can't be destroyed by, by card effects, so you can't don't have to worry about Mirror Force. And he's a big old beefy guy. You know, with uh, all the tokens that you're going to summon on both sides of the field, this guy can easily shoot up to nine, ten thousand 10,000 attack. Uh, it's also possible to go ahead and then soft lock your opponent, so... Uh, during your opponent's main phase, they go ahead and, you no know, normal summon, but before they can, you know, summon that other level 4, or, you know, go like Norden, Norden, you know, Institution, summon Norden, before Norden can go ahead and grab that monster out of the graveyard to, uh, XC with and turn into Castile, spin you away, you'll just be like, alright, on resolution of summon, 
I'm going to go ahead and use my effect. I'm going to summon four tokens to my side of the field, four tokens to your side of the field. Now Norden's being like, I can't summon, there's not enough room. So you kind of just soft lock your opponent there. And, of course, this card gains a thousand attack for each monster on the field. Itself. That's ten thousand attack, people. Ten thousand attack. So, what do I mean by committing more to the deck instead of just, you know, simply just splashing in there like Ultima Chizokin? I'm talking about going the full nine yard. Of course, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Hey, it's treated as level 12. And if you want to, you can throw a little bit of the Mountain of the Bound, Brown Down, Down, Go, Getting Down, Creator. You know, now you can't be targeted. And you can't already be destroyed by card effects. Kind of redundant, but you can't be targeted. So you can go ahead and make, possibly try to do some of that. But what I really want you guys to go ahead and commit to is some of that pierce. You know, whether it be meteorite, whether it be big bang shot, all you have to do is just summon a whole bunch of tokens to your both sides of the field during your opponent's turn. You can't attack for the rest of the turn. I wasn't planning on attacking during your turn anyway. Go ahead, my turn. <laughs> you know, play a trap stun or something. You know, just in case they want to play like you know. Uh, Capulse or, you know, or Deep Prison, whoever is running, still running that, you know, or, uh, you know, Storming Air Force, that's being played, and that can spin you away, so play that Trap Stun, play that Big Bang Shot, play that uh, Meteor Crush, and then just literally pierce one of the tokens. The tokens have zero defense, it's summoned on your opponent's side of the field, depending on how many tokens you have, you can be easily at 10,000 attack, attack, pierce, done. Like, I'm saying, you're going to have to commit a little bit more. You're going to have to commit a little bit of your extra act to pull it off uh, to get this card's full potential. Because if you don't really pull it off right, you're going to be going a little bit slow. I mean, I mean, what are your plans? You're just going to be like, all right, well, summon four to your side of the field, summon four to my side of the field, and then just keep killing their monster that they set or don't set? I mean, if they, if they set a monster, you kill it, and then they just continue setting monster. Or if not, you they do nothing. Because you could, you have to summon the same amount of tokens. Since you can't summon any more tokens to your side of the field, because they're not killing your tokens, you can't summon any more tokens to their side of the field. So what are you gonna do? Just keep killing their tokens and free up their field and free it up for, to get, you know, Castelled 101? No, that's not what you're gonna do. So like I said, to get the full benefit out of this card, you're gonna have to commit some of your main deck to, a, literally, a Bish Balkan deck. It's gonna be, it's gonna have to be something involving Bish Balkan, because it's just not like, oh, just throw it in there. Yeah, you know, sure. Ultimate to Zulkin, sure. Why not? I can throw. I have room in my extra deck. Throw a couple synchro monsters in there and set some cards. That's easy. No, no, you're gonna have to do a little bit more because this guy is not really that good unless you're using that beefy ass attack and piercing one of them tokens just for wrap it up for game. So uh, overall, I wouldn't say that Bitch Balkan is better than to Zulkin. I'd say it's different. I'd say it's different, and they each have their ups and downs. Uh, and like I said it's just easier to go ahead and splash it in the ultimate Zulkin and I'm not even sure, you know, like Labrador Ubel if I would even run a Bish Vulcan. I mean I just don't see the point of it. When I could just, you know, pull off plays with Tzolkin, this the Sigur Monsters I have a much better toolbox. This guy, he's kind of a one trick pony. Well, you know, Tzolkin is just as good as the Synchro Monsters that's protecting him, so Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So tell me what you guys think about Ultimil Ultimile is it Ultim Ultimito, Bish Vulcan, the ultimate legendary god, summoning his Ucha Ashawitz tokens. Uh, oh my god, did I just go there? Hello. <laughs> uh, and tell me if you guys have any suggestions on, you know, making a deck like this. I guess I'm just, I think just playing uh, Herodix, Labradite, the Herodic Monster Tribute, summon the, it from the deck, or you can go the Mali way as well, you yeah. know, and then. Play the mirror crushes, anything that can give you some nice pierce damage just to go ahead and wrap it up the dual and token. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.